who do you want to win? Now, I know what you're saying. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. You do care. If Seth Rollins wins, you know, that's good. If Baron Corbin wins, you will be pissed off. You will be mad. Because guess what? You do care. What's going on, everybody? I am Jake, a.k.a. Bomber from Java Radio. And boy, if the WWE did not double down on Baron Corbin being this main event heel character. This past week on Raw, he beat Braun Strowman, Miz, and Bobby Lashley to earn a chance at the Universal Championship against Seth Rollins. And people are losing their minds. People, of course, you're going to have a lot of AEW tweets. We just had double or nothing. You got a court of, you got this guy that's got the, you know, the turning off the TV. You got Cody. You got the Elite. You got just all kinds of stuff. Dumpster fires. You got everybody just really mad and just... Everybody's just really mad at Baron Corbin and the fact that... WWE is trying to shove him down our throat or WWE is ignoring the fans and saying that he is not a good, you know, heel care, uh, heel character. He's not a good person at all. They just want him off their TV period. So on, on the podcast, people uh, have heard before that I have, you know, not been the meanest person towards Baron Corbin. I actually think that Baron Corbin has a, uh, a quite a good skill set, and he is a good superstar on the roster. So I'm going to try to do my best to break down why I think Baron Corbin is not as bad as you people. And I know you're watching this. You're like, you're an idiot. You are wrong. You are crazy. But bear with me. Just listen just a little bit, just for a couple seconds, and then you can go comment below. At least do that before you just jump in there and start calling me an idiot. At least hear me out, then you can call me an idiot if you want. But that's what you guys do, is whine and cry when you don't get what you want. See, that's an ama- that is an amazing line. Guys, I don't care. I will fight you guys on this. I- I'm more than happy to fight you guys on this Baron Corbin situation. Please let me know in the comments below. Let me know why you hate Baron Corbin. And I, I would love to discuss this stuff with you. I would love to fight you guys on this. I stand by Baron Corbin as a heel character. And uh, the fact that everybody just... It's so good. It's so good. The- these... He's so good at getting under people's skin. That's what boggles my mind. How can you guys be, unless it's just you're being, you know, I hate to use so many terms, like you're getting worked, uh, you're a mark, all that kind of stuff. But unless you're just being suckered in so well, I think that says a lot about the Baron Corbin character. I think it does. So my first question is, why do you say Baron Corbin is so bad? A lot of people are going to jump in and say, oh, he can't wrestle or he's he's bad on the mic and Neither one of those things are true. Neither one of those things are true. Baron Corbin is not bad on the mic. He's not the best. He's not the rock. He's not even Seth Rollins. He's not this fantastic guy, but he is pretty decent and he's getting better. He, you got to remember also that Baron Corbin is a semi, he's not really green anymore, but he's a semi new character, a semi new wrestler, superstar on the roster. So he's still got plenty of time to improve and, you know, uh, uh, advance his skills on the mic. Now, in the ring, he also is not a Seth Rollins, or he's not a uh, Sami Zayn, or he's 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 not this fantastic wrestler either, but, oh my God, he is not a bad wrestler. Baron Corbin has never been a bad wrestler. One thing that Matt Zion always says on the show is, oh, well, well tell, me, tell me a great match he's been in. And, I mean, there's no real great match he's been in. There's a lot of wrestlers that I can not know of a a fantastic match right off the top of my head, and I like them quite a bit. Yes, he is still new as well. You got to consider that. And just this past pay-per-view, the Money in the Bank, he was fantastic in the Money in the Bank match. Everybody had good little spots in that. Baron Corbin's were very good as well. So... For people to say, for those two things right off the bat to say, oh, well, he's he's he sucks as a wrestler and he sucks on the mic. I, I you know, everybody's got their opinions, of course, and you are more than welcome to have yours. I'm more than welcome to have mine. But I don't think that he is bad at either one of those things. He's not great, but he's not bad at either one of those things. So what is left to hate Baron Corbin? Why is he, you know, so bad? Why is Why does WWE need to fire him, as a lot of people have said? Well, here's my answer. They don't need to. Baron Corbin is a good heel character. He is one of the top. In fact, he is one of the top heel characters on the entire WWE roster. 
Now, I know what you're saying. Oh, well, that just shows you how bad WWE is right now. No, there are very few characters right now in wrestling, just in general, that have real heel heat. And a lot of people are, he's got that X-Pac, go away heat. You know what? I got a question for you. This match right here that's going to happen at Superstar Showdown, who do you want to win? Now, I know what you're saying. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. You do care. If Seth Rollins wins, you know, that's good. If Baron Corbin wins, you will be pissed off. You will be mad because guess what? You do care. And why do you think you care? Because you don't like Baron Corbin, right? You don't like Baron Corbin, do you? No, you don't. Guess why? Because he is a heel character. I got a question for you. Out of that match, who else would you have wanted to win? Would you want a Bobby Lashley to face um, Seth Rollins? Perhaps. The Miz? I think a lot of people would love to see Miz challenge Seth Rollins. Saudi Arabia, though? Would you like to see that? Throw uh, A lot of people consider it a throwaway show? Maybe not so much. Maybe save it for a bigger pay-per-view. Maybe SummerSlam, something along those lines. What about Braun Strowman against Seth Rollins? Sure. I would love to see that as well for the title. Guess what? Not really on a, you know, a almost a C-graded pay-per-view that a lot of people aren't even going to get to watch since it's a, a weird hour. Guess what? Baron Corbin, to me, is a perfect person to challenge Seth Rollins for this title at Superstar or at Super Showdown, whatever the fuck it's called. And I know a lot of people are going to say, you know what? I don't care about this match. I don't care. And like I said, you do care. If, if, if Baron Corbin wins, and guess what? Look at this. Boom. Look at this. This is my future, and there's nothing you can do about it but cry. He is such a hated character. That, and of course, of course, people are doing this um, jumping to AEW. Well, guess what? I hate to be that guy. I really do hate to be that guy, but I hate, I hate to call you out on it, but bullshit. If Bar just because of this match, you're just going to be like, you know what? I'm not watching WWE anymore or because of Baron Corbin. I know there's a lot of things you don't like about WWE right now, and that's fine. But the fact that all these people are, I'm just not going to watch WWE anymore. I'm going to go watch AEW. Then go do it. There is nothing stopping you from going to do that. If you want to say that Baron Corbin is your reason to stop watching WWE because you don't like him because of the heel character, that makes that character stronger that you hate him so much you will turn off you will turn off what you love if you really do love wrestling and you really do watch WWE and you really do that stuff and this is your reason this guy right here is your reason to turn WWE off he the WWE and Baron Corbin have you in the palm of their hand if that is the case they are doing ever sorry I hit the mic they are doing everything right with that character if that is truly how you feel and i know you are sitting here arguing you're probably gonna argue no you're wrong that he makes me not want to watch guess what there's several things you want to compare things with AEW and stuff that's fine there are things in AEW that they they brand themselves as um there is there's a little bit for everybody there's stuff you're not gonna like there's stuff you're gonna like well guess what WWE, this would be the same thing, would it not? If you're if Baron Corbin's not what you want to watch, but you want to watch, say, Kofi Kingston, wouldn't that be the same thing? Why would you, you know, shove WWE to the side and it's wrong for them to, you know, pursue somebody, a, a heel character like this and to push them? But for AEW, they have this Orange Cassidy guy that comes in doing this just stupid kick stuff. Like I don't I don't understand the logic of a lot of these uh, wrestling fans out there. And you know what? I'm not saying you're wrong for disliking him. I'm saying that you are right. And you're doing everything they want you to do. Those are empty threats that I see all the time online, all all over the place. That the people do that all the time. And I am one of those people as well about a cert, certain things. When I see it come on, I won't watch it. It, when I I don't really have that feel that way about a lot of people, but there's some people like Alicia Fox. I really I can't stand watching Alicia Fox. So you know what I do? Whenever she is on TV, whenever that would be, um, I I just don't I don't pay attention. I, I'll glance back to see if her segment's done. When it's done, I just carry on. Now, the thing with Baron Corbin is. He is a way better wrestler, a way better, you know, charismatic person than somebody like Alicia Fox or something like that. I, I know this is going to be a crazy 
comparison. I'm not directly comparing these two people, but Baron Corbin reminds me a lot of, man, this is going to draw a controversy right here. Jesus Christ. It's first person that popped into my head. Um, oh, man, this is going to be bad. All right. Baron Corbin, to me, reminds me a lot of Cody Rhodes. I know you. Uh, yep, I just said it. I, AW, all eight. I just said it. But he's a decent wrestler. Not great. Not bad. Charismatic? Yes. Fantastic? No. Not great. Not bad. He's a solid guy. That's it. That's what he is. He uh, when you look at the WWE roster, when you think of like charismatic, like how charismatic a lot of the wrestlers are, Baron Corbin has way more than that. He is so good. He has a very hateable, like punchable face. Look at this face right there. It is so hateable. He just he oozes this 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 look that he's better than you. He's just this dirty fucking asshole person. He just has the look. And when he gets out there, he rubs it in your face so well. He's the one that beat Kurt Angle. He's the one that did this. He's the one that did that. He is so good at rubbing this stuff into the wounds. He is just, he plays his part well, is what I'm saying. So for characters that have a little more charisma, and they're not as great in the ring, they can excel. And I don't know why Baron Corbin is being shit on so much as the, the way he is. As far as just uh, being a heel, I think, personally, I think he's just doing his job, and he's doing it damn good. You hate Baron Corbin. You hate him. Whether or not you say you care about Baron Corbin, you do care about Baron Corbin. I know that's a tough pill to swallow. I know that's hard to hear. I do. But it's true. No matter what you think, it is true. I also personally think the fact that you clicked on this video and you're watching this video also proves that you care a little bit about Baron Corbin. Am I right? Why else would you click on it? Right? So I think maybe it's time just to get over yourself just a little bit.